Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Banning of Isaac Repentance. We are here again going for yet another try at the win because we just cannot kill this boss. I suck at him. I always get there with either health and no damage or damage and no health, and never the two shall cross. It's very, very frustrating, but we're going to play it as Bethany again because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Bethany has a good chance of doing well just because she has some really unique uh, combinations with her active. I feel like we could maybe get some good stuff going with her. So we're going to try her out and see how she goes. Not having that. Not having that. Jump three miles and hit me in the forehead. No, thank you. No, thank you. But yeah, hopefully we get a good active. Of course, last time we played as Bethany, we got some really, really OP stuff. Um, and I hope that we can get something similar. We did actually go for a, a mother kill, but we uh, ended up dying on the uh, downpour as the lost, which was the first time I did that. So I was kind of okay with dying. That's the first time I died on that floor. But we ended up having a good run with her after. But yeah, we really do need to try and kill this boss now. We need to just get a good run going. But I've been having good runs, but the boss is just, is just tough. <laughs> it's just really hard. I, there's like three or four of his attacks that I just do not understand physically how to dodge. Like, I feel like I've tried a few different things and it never works. And I, I don't know if it's me being stupid or, or what, but I, I really feels like some of the uh, some of the attacks that we're getting through that are getting thrown at me are uh, a little bit too tough to dodge. And it just, yeah, it just compounds the idea that I think the room is just too small. But I'm not going to complain about the boss too much. I still enjoy it a lot. I still think it's really well designed. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fault that. As I said, I do believe that it's just a learning curve thing. And as soon as we beat him for the first time, we'll most likely end up being absolutely fine. And we'll probably end up killing him a few times after that with, with relative ease. But it's just, I just can't seem to get there with health and damage. It just doesn't happen. Small Rock's pretty good. I would have preferred Soul Hearts. But actually, no. As Bethany, I wouldn't have preferred Soul Hearts because we can't get them. So, honestly, just give me all the HP you can. Small Rock here is definitely going to help. The speed down, though, is, is pretty drastic. Speed down being a bit spicy there. Check our shop real quick. The Eraser's back again. I, I doubt I'll be able to get it, but the Eraser's back again. Imagine if we could uh, just start erasing everything once more because that was just fantastically fun. Um, just a crazy combination with... Uh, with Maggie. Maggie? Uh, Bethany. I played Maggie last run. These spiders. I can't believe they weren't changed. Just yeeting themselves fucking 300 miles an hour from across the room at you. Um, Eden's Blessing. We're going to have to take damage to get it, but I will take it. Good amount of fire rate there. Rather nice. And this, this, this run's definitely looking better already. Of course, HP is in question. Because playing as Bethany, we're not going to get soul hearts. So that's kind of the biggest sort of thing that worries me here but otherwise pretty good stuff let's go if we get the uh the thing that's a free shot buy from the boss somehow we weren't but if we did that'd be awesome if we get booster pack that could happen i suppose or is that a trinket technically i think it's technically a trinket so maybe booster pack wouldn't do that for us throw your head at me and i shall destroy it and again there's the HP we wanted. Great stuff. And that healed us to full as well. We can go straight down. Oh, there's an enemy in here. Didn't expect that. Hello, my sir. Um, Hill, pretty fly. Honestly, again, pretty good. Right. Let's set up on our journey. And we're in Dross this time. I fucking love Dross. Dross, is, it just looks so cool. It's such a good ult. And, like, it feels so fresh. But, like, I just, I, I don't know. I just have to say, I love what they've done with the ults by making them really, really unique for the ult path. They're not just little bit different they're really really unique from one another i think that's that that makes this uh just so much more enjoyable so we got a shop here mr me i would i would like to maybe get mr me um i don't know how mr me would work with um with our book but that's exactly why i want it i want to find out okay, these guys can be a bit of a pain but we should be okay he hit a fire Okay, fires are there to protect us. There was a key in this room that we missed, apparently. Ah, uh, okay, it's behind a wall. That's fine. Eden's Blessing, though. Gonna help out next run, especially, but on this run, it's definitely good for the fire rate. Oh, this guy survived. I didn't see that. I did not see that. Right, item room, please be good for us. Yeah, honestly, yes. Let's grab this. Combine it with our book.
This is actually pretty good. If we get soul hearts, we can get full red hearts here. This is a good combination. This is a really, really good combination. And also the... What? The fire seems to um, give us a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a homing shot, too. Which is great. I shouldn't have lost that eternal heart there. I shouldn't have even used the buff in the first place, to be honest, until the end of the floor. Lover's card is great to keep on standby. Um, I reckon we just go for the boss, don't we? And we got a new boss. I didn't check what his uh, card was called. I do apologize. But a new boss. It's a poop worm. Whoa! That is the coolest fucking thing. I mean, I did just lose my deal with the devil, but on Bethany, I'm not that big of a... I'm not, not really that bothered by that. That's so cool. Oh my god, look at him go. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, the animations on that are just beautiful. Right, so let's use that. Hop on down. Feeling good now. This is this is the start of something beautiful, hopefully. On to Dross 2. On to Dross 2. Gotta get our knife piece, remember? Let's try and keep that dream alive. That's a that's a really bouncy head you got there, sir. That's a real bouncy head you got there, sir. This thing doesn't actually count as an enemy. Okay, it just dissipates over time. We do want soul hearts when we can grab them for, to get extra charges. But so far, so damn good. Tinted rock, I see ya. There's the soul heart. So we don't want to use the charge until we have two charges available, essentially. We want to make sure that we've got two backed up and ready, because then we can, like, double it up and instantly gain a heart. And also, yeah, the fires that we're going to get from this seem pretty powerful, too. Careful of all the falling debris. Lots of debris there. Holy shit. But let's go. Almost got it. Two charges off. Oh my god. The water's falling our way, which means that these little dudes are accelerated towards us. Black heart there. That doesn't quite count, I don't think. Oh no, it does. It does. Nice. Get an extra bomb there. So now we can double up and use it to instantly gain a heart. Fantastic. This is great. The map, I will buy. Treasure map seems like it could be pretty useful for us. These fires are great too, by the way. Like, not only is this a very good active for keeping us alive, but these fires are really doing good work. We haven't seen our uh, fire yet, though. Or our item room. Item room is the bigger thing, because now it means the item room is really far away from the mirror. If I lose this run due to the, the, the fire... Oh, no, we have seen our white fire. Um, if, I, if I lose this run due to the item room being absolutely miles away and having a bunch of hard rooms in between... I will lose my shit. I am not joking. I will lose my shit. Book of Revelations. It's good, and it would give us soul hearts. I don't actually know how that would function with this. But I think we've got to take the other item, because it just... Ugh. Ugh. The both actives. Ugh. Right. Don't be mean to us, game. Don't be mean to us. Please let me survive through this. I will be so upset if I die to this. Okay, let this disappear. One room done. Another room good to go. This one's the slidey one, isn't it? No. That was close. Remember, we can fly over rocks and we've got spectral tears and everything, so we can use those to our advantage. This is the charge stealer, boys. Okay, we're good. We good. Oh, yeah, as Bethany being able to generate red health like this is going to be super good. Almost went for the boss room there, but that is definitely not where we want to go. We in the money. Having a lover's card here as well. Perks me up a little bit. And we got Lil Bub. Lil Bub isn't too bad. He can be a bit of a pain in the ass. We're going to throw a bomb at him though and see if we can get him. We didn't actually hit him there. But we're doing great damage with these fires. 
So we take that. We take a look in here. The crown? I think we take the crown. Then we push this. Bomb this twice. So the crown, if I remember correctly, on a room you get double damage. It might not be the same anymore, but it'll still be good. As long as we don't get hit on the room, it's going to be useful. Then we go. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm actually feeling really good about this run. Let's just make sure that we get the second key piece. We, we cannot forget about that. We cannot forget about that. So we're only on mines one, so no key piece yet. Yeah, this Herming's fantastic. And this double damage is even better. Obviously not going to be super good on the big boss because we don't get the double damage there, but still. Uh, we don't want to go in there, I don't think. Wait, it's, what is it? It's a chest room, not a library, so we don't care. We don't care too much. Boss trap room or uh, combat trap room, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, these guys can be a bit, a bit funky, but we've got the damage. We've got the damage. Okay, them guys. Them guys don't do what I thought they did. What we need now is a full health pill. That would that would ele elevate this run so much. Oh, shit. I just lost a bunch of fires to these little corpses here. So these guys last until every one of them is, is dead at the same time. By the looks of it, yeah. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Every single one of them has to be downed at the same time. Right, keep her going. This is spicy. This is a spicy run now. Really? Another active? Oh, piercing shot. Yes, that's so good for us. Judgment. Bomb him. More hearts on the floor for us. Money in there. Might, if the shop's good, we might want to get that. Don't really know why rooms like that exist. No enemies or anything in there. You just got to do a little tiny puzzle. And that's it. <laughs> right. Um, up through here. Go this way this time, I think. Yeah, we're not being this way. Now, this is not a room I like to see. Whew. These guys are crazy. Hello? Would you like to pop up, sir? Oh my god, nice. I'll tell you what would be nice, getting Yum Heart now that we've got all these red hearts. <laughs> Just anything that's going to give us guaranteed healing would be immensely useful right now. This thing? Nah. So these little fire dudes, I didn't realize they are actually just like around until you kill everything. Okay, um... Have we been to item room? Yeah, we got Cupid's Arrow. Of course we did. Oh, Singe. There's uh, some blocks around. Ah, interesting. So he moves these little exploding... Uh, he explodes these little blocks around that do damage. That's an interesting uh, concept for a fight. I like it. He's all, he's all about just um, making as much destruction and moving everything around as much as possible. Which... He's just jumped. Okay, he's going to go near that one. Keep thinking I've got piercing shots because I've been playing as the Lost earlier. Right, good. More HP. We don't have anything to do on the mines. This is mines. Uh, this is Ash Pit 1. So yeah, we can go down to the next one. Ash Pit 2. And health is... Health and damage both looking good. I'd like a bit more damage. Uh, when we've not got uh, when we've not got this active, because the boss we're not gonna have this active for long. You know it. Come on, boy, pop your head up. What you doing, fella? Extra key. Nice, nice. Ooh, damn, that guy almost got me there. He didn't actually die then. Thought he did. And piercing's gonna sort you out. Really? You survived? Okay, here's our minecart room. Good, good. That's one button out of three. 
Two buttons out of three. We should have more than enough health to uh, to escape the demon dudes. Oh, we you get hit there. The other devil chances are going down the toilet, but I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, maybe it's for the entire floor now. Maybe we've lost our damage for the whole floor. Because that thing's not... Oh, maybe we just have to be at full health. I think we just have to be at full health for it to work. That has changed a little bit. From what it used to be. Lucky Penny. Post hat, uh, explosion immunity. Sounds good to me. Yeah, there you go. It's just, so they have changed it. Before it was just not getting hit in a room. Now it's if you're at full health. Which I kind of like better. I think that's good. Tinted rock there. We'll grab that. Another heart there. There's our soul heart too. Good. Got that going. Uh, let's go and do this now. Why don't we? Luckily, like I said, we've got tons of HP. So doing this shouldn't be a problem. Even if we get hit a bunch. I really hope we don't get hit a bunch. We're getting better at not, so... I'd rather not, but... Oh, we might end up losing our fires in here as well. If he contact damages us, I'm, I'm reckoning we're going to lose our fires. But, having the fires should mean we destroy poops a lot quicker. So if there's any poops in the way, which is quite often part of the uh, part of the trap here, could definitely help us with that. I've not seen too many bomb throwing areas either, which is great. Knife piece two, there you go. Got to make sure to go to mausoleum as well. That little fly there. Oh, uh, oh, there's spikes there. I didn't see those spikes. That's fair enough. That was me just not really paying attention. Oh, shit. Didn't go the right way there. That's That one's just like a bit of a longer path round. I can't believe I dodged him then. Wow. Yep, knew I was going to get hit there. This seems to be the easiest one. We, we got we got lucky with that. The fires, again, like I said, making it a lot easier to get through than poops. We lost a little bit of health there, but not much. We know that we're no longer at full health. But, never mind. We're still not at full health, so we're half a heart of full health right now, I think. I'll probably use my lover's card after um, after opening the door. We've only got one bomb. Don't, don't bother with that. We've got our key piece too. Now we've just got to go to Mausoleum. Remember to go to Mausoleum as well. Do not forget. That would be real dumb. Tough Twins. Again, kind of an annoying boss because you you can't just shoot them. Your raw damage doesn't really matter. Wow, the knife just destroyed him. Also, piercing's been changed, so you can no longer deal, like, loads of damage to the segments over and over again. Which is a good change, in my opinion. Okay, we got him, and we got HP, which means we can go boom. Then we can go boom. Oh, wait, that might have been the wrong way around, so we might now lose that HP. We might have just lost an Eternal Heart there. Probably did. Bit of a wrong way around of doing that, but we, we got HP and damage anyways. It's not a massive loss. One moment, guys. Cool, let's let's carry on. So we're at max HP now, uh, which is not surprising. This does mean that we can effectively get rid of our space bar. Really, boy? Whenever we want. Why did I go this way? This, this way was clearly the wrong way. I'm liking the fires that this thing makes, so it is nice to have it for that reason. Oh, the music just kicks up so much on this floor. It's great. Right, let's wait for this to do its thing again. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walk. That's timed so well. I love that. Good, good. Grab that. And that. 
cool. We might as well be using the Eternal Hearts as just extra health now. Because Eternal Hearts technically count as an extra hit. Check on this card. Two of diamonds. Yeah, we'll take it. Definitely don't want that, so we'll take this. Gemini? Yeah, I, I'm happy with Gemini. We're at 74 money now, so it'd be great if we could find a good shot. I really love these little enemies that only move if... Um, look up. PhD. Scented Rock. So essentially now we're going to be fishing for a full health pill. If we can get a full health pill, that'd be great. But yeah, we're going to kind of keep our space bar at the minute because it's going to give us extra hits. Every time we use it, it essentially means we get one free hit. Which isn't going to be good for the boss in the long run, but for right now it's pretty good. We're not going to use the soul heart power on it though. We want to save our souls if we get a better item. But this is our best chance thus far. I just We just need some healing for in the fight. If we can get some healing for in the fight, then I'll feel a lot more confident. But so far, so good. Bethany has uh, has helped us excel. Got you. I do love me some Bethany. Right. Um, we've got six keys. We can head in here. Are these all trinkets? No, they're not. Um, help us find Tinted Rock's not a big deal, but I guess we'll take it. Okay, lots of uh, rooms that don't really matter to us right now. Hmm. I'm not really understanding how we do this. So we got to go like that. Then like that. And like, oh my god, fuck's sake, it still hit us. And it went back, you fucking kidding me? Oh, you... This is... No. I don't like this. Fuck that room. <laughs> that room frustrated me. Oh, what? That brimstone didn't hit me either. Okay, now we're taking just a fuck ton of damage for no reason. What the fuck are you doing? You stupid asshole. <laughs> Ugh. Taking a bunch of damage for no reason now. Great. I hate this. Fires, you better give me some healing here. Otherwise, I'm going to be mad. Where's our shop anyways? We already, oh, we already found our shop and it was terrible, wasn't it? Okay, so now I'm, li I'm a little less confident in everything because that room was just... fierce. Oh, we got the horny twins again. I love these guys. This guy throws bomber boy bombs, I think, so. Oh, hot bombs too. The fires hurt us, but also. It's like a mix between the two guys' attacks. I love this. This is such a cool boss fight. Wow, he's going off. He's going crazy. This is probably the best boss fight there is in the game so far, in my opinion. Like, it's just. It's so stylish. I know that sounds really dumb considering how good the rest of them are at the minute, but. Will this fill up that heart container? I don't actually know. Yes, it does. Good. So now we get our damage back. This motherfucker is brimstone and Right. Cause me to go to our item room and shop. Is there an item room and shop on this floor? I can never remember. Also, do we take full heart damage on this floor? I also can't remember that either. More hearts about. Good. This is bad. We've got a few of these dudes doing their thing around the place. We are t totally taking some damage here. Luckily, it's a big room, though, so we've got plenty of lead time on them. But that's kind of spicy, that is. I wonder if these guys can get hit by that uh, spinny, that spinny thing. I'm wondering. We take the Eternal Heart just for the extra healing. Well, extra health, should I say. Kind of like having a slight bit of extra maximum HP. Good. We're making our way through. This is a hard room. Don't know if the balls can hit these guys.
Oh, yeah, this is one of these rooms. One of these rooms. Okay, so there is item rooms on this. What the fuck are you doing, game? No. D1. Little chub. Welcome to the crew. That doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. It, earlier on, it that would have been great. Being able to use a bunch of battery charges to get a bunch of hearts. But right now, that kind of does nothing for us. Whew. Oh, these enemies can just suck on my pee, pee Do you know what? Let's go buy that battery charge thing just to get an eternal heart going. There you go. Just to get one eternal heart going. Actually, why didn't I just pick up another charge? Dumb. And I've got another one for later. Keeping us at full health for as long as possible is, is pretty useful, so I'm glad that we're doing that. These guys, I, I, I'm a bit confused by them. They seem to be able to hit you with their brimstone, like, way earlier than you expect, and they're invincible, so... The spicy of these... I... Yep, yep, yep. Well done. Well fucking done. I hate those things with a passion. Those blocks can suck off. <laughs> I get that they're meant to be hard, so it's kind of fine, but still. <laughs> Back to full health. Yeah, it's kind of fine. I do get it, but like, please no. <laughs> Not anymore. I don't want it. Oh, the foot hit me. Didn't see it coming down. That's okay. You can see our damage is still pretty good, even without the, the double. I always forget about that foot attack. Okay, let's see how we do against Mum's heart. Oh, I keep forgetting these eyes spawn after the fact. Mean Mum. Mean Mum. All our fires are going to be gone now as well, which is not great because they're really useful. The extra damage. This attack's really cool. It looks really dangerous, but it's not as dangerous as you'd think. It's th definitely when it starts trying to find the position you're supposed to be in. I'm starting to notice that our damage is just kind of subpar. Whoa, what, what, what is this? I got hit so many times on that fight. Fuck! Golden heart. What? You dropped a golden heart rather than an actual heart? Why? This run could have been so good. We're, we're dead again. We're dead again. I know it. This, this, we just don't have the damage. We don't have any healing to go into the into the fight with. We're pretty much done. It, it sounds pessimistic, I know. But honestly, pessimism is the way forward. Really? Can I not get it? How, do you, how are we meant to get these? Apparently you're not. Oh, this, uh, this dude went underground. Oh, that, that's what he's doing. He went underground to go at the top. Why'd I go through here? This is obviously not the right way. Obviously not the right way. Oh, although we could skip a room by doing this. Don't be stupid. Be efficient. Come on. Whoa. Cares of darkness on this is, is a bit spicy. I can't really see anything that's coming. Love the little tiny maggot dudes. They're really cool. They're, there's there's a lot of them everywhere, too. Oh, there's creep there! What? I can't see it! <laughs> and the maggot hit me. I'm starting to get a little bit fucked off. Just starting to get a little bit fucking cheesed. A soul heart would be great if it did anything for us. I'm starting to think that this isn't possible. And everyone that says they've done this boss so far is lying. Because this is too hard. I don't get enough health and I don't get enough good items. Do you just need a god run? Like, is that it? Or do you just have to not do hard mode? Like, what is this? <laughs> Give me some health, you shitbag. Oh, I forget this. keep forgetting this guy fires bouncy bullets. Oh, one of these guys. Hello. Where have you all come from? 
heals us a little bit. Oh, a new boss, Chimera. It's kind of cool, but I'm not looking forward to a new boss when I'm already doing bad as it is. That's a lot of poison, sir. Yeah, you can just tell by this boss fight, we don't have enough damage. We are going to die. We don't have anywhere near enough damage. This guy is taking forever to kill. There's, like, just no damage items anymore. They just, like, don't exist. Oh, his head's fell off. Oh, and he's got a brimstone attack. That's new. I don't know what to say. I just... This is crazy. It's a lot of new stuff, Sam. I'm, I'm cool to be experiencing new stuff. But I just want to kill the boss so I can actually get some cool unlocks. I want to just do the new stuff. <laughs> and I can't get to any of the new stuff because all the new stuff keeps getting in the way. And there's no health. And the items, I, I, like, how have I got, how, like, I just, tier effects don't exist anymore for me. I had, like, a few runs where I got really good tier effects. And the past few ones I've tried, by the way, there was a few scrap recordings where we made it not far enough to really do anything. Um, just don't have enough stuff to do anything. Like, oh, I need a full health pill now, please. I'm just not getting cool items at all. Right, one moment. Okay, let's, let's die. Let's, let's get ready to die. We came in on a run that I, I just, I thought this was going to be a godly run. And then they changed how the crown works and it made it so I lose all my health all the time. And it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy. I lose health so I can't get my crown back, so I lose more health so I can't get my crown back. My crown's all my damage. That just dropped me a bomb. A bomb, really? Really, a bomb. You have to be kidding me with this bomb. Not what I needed. Oh, there's a maggot in the corner for fuck's sake. Is there even any point in trying to fight the boss? Probably not, no. I mean, I guess I can learn some of his patterns, but there's no way we're being him. Also, what the fuck are these things? Oh, I've been grabbed. Oh, I've been grabbed. Got on the spikes, you. These guys are really cool. I love these guys. Very interesting enemies. I'm going to bomb all these beggars and hope that one of them gives us some HP that isn't just a soul heart. Nope, he gives us range, though. Thanks for all the range. Oh, the maggot hit me. Ugh. Life is pain. Run to four hearts. We came down here with 20. 20. What the fuck? Ah, oh, yeah, fuck it. Just go for it. Let's die. See if I can learn how to dodge this knife attack. That attack I'm good at dodging. That attack I've learned, okay. This one's okay too. I can deal with that one. Oh, th this one. This one I don't really get. This one seems a bit too much. Oh, we got through the first phase already? Okay. That was kind of quick. I thought we had really shit damage. This bit I don't really get because, like, how do you know what which side is going to come from? That bit I don't really get because there's just shit all over the screen. This bit's the, the only bit I do understand, and I'm still really bad at it. Okay, so this one you've got to loop him, I think. Yes, you do. That one you've got to herp and pray. So there's like a splash. I don't... I've got 1.3 speed and I still couldn't get out of the way of that attack. So this one I understand now. That's good. This one I, I really don't understand. Nope. He's too fat. He's too fat. You can't get out of the way of that. Fuck off. <laughs> this man is too chunky. Oh, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Ooh. I'm getting really stressed. <laughs> I really just want to beat this fucking boss. I've been trying like all day and I've done like, I've scrapped like three recordings because I got like halfway through the run and either messed up the key pieces or the run was terrible. 
And it's just, it's making me cry. It's so annoying because I absolutely love playing the game. I'm loving getting there and trying and attempting the boss. But this, how much health does the second phase have? Where the fuck's this man's health bar? And why does he do that attack where even with 1.3 speed, it's impossible to get out of the way of? Uh, either way. Anyways, I'm going to stop raging and being salty because I appreciate the game. The boss is well made. I'm just, I just suck. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.